If you will be asked to choose, which one do you choose between the two? Is it the 1 million pesos or the 1 peso that doubles every day for 30 days? You might be thinking the same with the other people who would take the 1 million pesos than the other. But do you know that a peso will be about 5 million after 30 days? You can see how it remains so fast using the concept of compound interest. So if you want to learn about compound interest, watch this video. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about a lesson in business mathematics and the topic is all about compound interest. Here are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define compound interest, illustrate how to solve a compound interest, and solve problems involving interest. What is compound interest? When we say compound interest, it refers to the charge on principal and on any previously earned interest, meaning to say an interest is added to the principal, and that interest that has been added also earns interest. So in other words, in compound interest payment, it gets larger over time. And this addition of interest to the principal is called compounding. So when do we use compound interest? Usually, this is being used for loans of more than one year. It is also useful for investing since it allows the fund to grow at a faster rate. When we say compounding, we need to take note the common compounding periods. It is the span of time between when interest was last compounded and when it will be compounded again. So we have semi-annually, having two periods per year, quarterly, four periods per year, monthly, 12 periods per year, daily, 365 periods per year, and the commonly used compounding period, annually having one period per year. Let us show the difference between simple interest from compound interest. 10,000 pesos deposited at 5% interest. How much is the value of money after 2 years? If the interest given is only simple, to compute for the money after 2 years, it is only given by 10,000 times 0 0.05 times 2, which gives us 11,000, meaning to say there is 1,000 pesos interest after 2 years. And as for the compound interest, since an interest also earns an interest, we have to present this per year. So during the first year, we have 10,000 as a principal value, and to find the interest value, we multiply 10,000 by 0 0.05, and this gives us an interest value of 500. So the total for the first year is 10,500. And during the second year, to find the value, we have to use the 10,500, which is the principal plus the interest during the first year. And this value will earn another interest. That is why we have 10,500 times 0 0.05. And the interest here will be added to 10,500. So the total is 11,025. So if you're going to look at or compare simple from compound, in compound, the value is larger than the simple interest. So what is the formula to be used to find the future or maturity value in compound interest? We have A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. A here stands for the future or maturity value or the compound amount. P represents the present or principal value. It is the amount invested or borrowed. R refers to the annual interest rate, and N refers to the number of compounding periods such as annually, monthly, quarterly, and etc. And T refers to the number of years. To find the present or principal value, we need to follow the formula P is equal to A all over 1 plus R over N raised to the power of N times T. Let's have a sample problem. Find the future value and interest amount. 
we have the problem. Mrs. De La Cruz invested 100,000 in a company that gives 10% annual interest compounded semi-annually. How much will she have after 5 years? And how much is the interest? Based on this given problem, we have the principal value of 100,000, the annual rate which is 10% or 0 0.10, we have the compounding period of semi-annually, meaning to say we have two periods per year, and the time, which is five years. So first, we have to look for the future value. The future value is given by the formula A is equal to the principal value, which is the 100,000, times 1 plus the R, 0 0.10, over the compounding period, which is semi-annually, and it's given by 2 raised to the power of n, which is 2, times the t, which is 5 years. So we have this as our solution. Simplifying, we have 162,889.46. What is the meaning of this? Mrs. De La Cruz will have 162,889.46 after 5 years. To find the amount of interest, we just have to subtract the future value and the principal value. So by doing that, we have the interest value of 62,889.46. Next example, find the present value. Francis wants to do a time deposit on his money to a bank account with an interest of 3.5% compounded quarterly. The balance of his bank account after 2 years is 82400 What is the initial amount he invested? So here, we're talking about the principal value. So we have here the maturity value or future value which is 82400 the annual interest rate which is 3.5% or in decimal 0.035, compounding period of quarterly which is given by 4 periods in a year, and the time which is given by 2 years. Following the formula in finding the present value, we have P is equal to A which is 82,400, the future value divided by 1 plus the rate of 0 0.035 divided by the n, which is 4, raised to the power of n times the t, which is 2. So we have this as our solution. And by computing for this value, p is equal to 76,852.65 Francis' initial amount invested was 76,852.65. After showing you how to compute for the present and future value in compound interest, Try the following examples. You may pause the video to answer this. Let's check your work. The future value is 13,022.60 and the amount of interest is 3,022.60. Try another example. The present value is 84,612.27. What are the important things that you need to take note? When we say compound interest, it is a charge on principal and on any previously earned interest. And this addition of interest to the principal is called compounding. And to solve for the future value, we need to follow the formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N all raised to the power of N times T. And to find the principal value, we need to use P equals A all over 1 plus R over N all raised to the power of N times T. This is the end of our discussion about compound interest. I hope you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Bye everyone. See you on our next video.